Hello, Macy here. Um, where were we? Okay, we've got the Spirit of Kerbin and Halcyon 1 on the way to Lathe. And as you can see, now several months since they left, another transfer window to Jewel has opened up. So it's time to send our two new ships to complete our Lave defense fleet. So firstly, let's get the Isprit out of the system. I'm leaving pretty much on the Terminator again, just before sunset in low orbit. And um, I want to try and do this quite efficiently because although I'm pretty confident this ship has enough fuel, the battle cruiser I am much less confident. So I'm just going to practice getting this um, efficient transfer and see how much fuel it's going to take me and then just pray for the battle cruiser, I think. But hey, I'm, I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to try it anyway. I, haven't, I don't want to go and redesign it again. But one of you have warned me it won't make it. I've just pushed the apoapsis um, just out beyond Juna, and now I'll catch up um, with the battle cruiser. Thank you to George Farndell for his suggestion, the Vanguard. There are many thousands of very good suggestions, but I do like the Vanguard. I think it should be named the Vanguard. Although I really liked Mr. Alderberg's suggestion, the KSS Kerberos, but um, instead I've named the original battle cruiser, what was the um, prototype, is now called um, the Kerberos. The ship class is quite clearly a dreadnought, so thanks to Natey for that one. Of course, due to gross negligence, we may have just, with lots of ceremony, um, named a coffin, because I'm not sure if it's going to get there. But, you know, I'm going to give it a go. I like the challenge. Um, I can't remember who it was, but one of you said, it can't make it and I sense a challenge there so I'm going to do it anyway but um, I know it's terrible of me <laughs> I know it's terrible but we can do it we can do it I have confidence so here I am I've just put it out to the same point and I've tried to leave the system bang on the um, prograde path if, if you see which I think is um, the most efficient way I can't extend the orbit too far with the Oberth effect because it takes too long to get up to speed so it's best to just get it out of the system first I think um, and then do the rest of the maneuver from the solar although it isn't actually sol um, periaps I've been doing it by eye but um, now time for a maneuver node and all I have to do is to just drag out prograde and from this position there's capture I'm not going to get a proper capture from here because there's no point until we reach the ascending node um, and then we can flatten out our trajectory and fish around for a lathe capture but from this um, node here we just want to get capture and then leave it there for now and then we can go over and do the same with the battleship and hopefully they won't get too far apart although you can see it um, accelerating away there we'll soon be catching it up okay now time for the all important manoeuvre the critical manoeuvre will I be able to make this get to lathe okay we're already used <laughs> about half our fuel so um, well more than that actually we've used half our planetary fuel so let's see if we can um, make this maneuver see that's a huge delta V maneuver even from here and um, I'm just gonna go and see let's see if we can pull this off you can see right at the end of maneuver here I um, lose an engine which is a sign the first sign I'm running out of fuel so I am slightly nervous now I am slightly nervous I'm not going to make it but hopefully this will give us a nice capture but the thing is I need to do another maneuver at the um, ascending node we're not there yet so even though I've got that capture we actually haven't got anything like a lathe capture and I'm not sure if I'm going to have the fuel for it so yet again um, I'm going to do this with the Isprit formation first and there's capture just fishing around at 21 million kilometers once you've made your orbital inclination um, the same because Jules inner moons are actually roughly on the ecliptic so if you want to make a really far away capture it is quite important and here I am right at the end of the maneuver with two engines only and just completed the capture maneuver but it's not quite right I don't have capture sometimes you have to do this you have to fine-tune things all the time from this range because it's quite jumpy so here I am just completing it and that's it that's all my fuel gone empty but we have RCS 
and this ship carries a lot of propellant. So I'm just going to complete this manoeuvre um, on gas alone. But it's enough. From here on in, we'll just have to put all of our faith in an aerobraking manoeuvre. But there's the capture, so that's all we can do for now. Okay, so that's how it looks. We will be turning up at lathe um, a few months after the Spirit of Kerbin and the colony ship arrive. So let's speed forward time now, because the moment has come where Spirit Wolf will make its appearance at lathe. We, our fleet is now complete, so it's taken some time getting it all up to scratch, but we're ready to make our presence known now on lathe and get this um, colony ship down and deployed. So I'm just fixing my capture again all the way in here and fine tuning it. Um, every time you go into time compression, you will have to fine tune a bit. So I'll fine tune all the way in. And here we have visuals on dual as we come into the system. Spirit Wolf's proud flagship sailing into its destination with grand ceremony. It's been some time on board. The ship's crew have been going insane. They have all been promised shore leave, so don't worry about that. Um, now we're going to get the colony ship um, on target in the same way because it's just come into the system. So now we have both ships set up for a capture with lathe. I'm just changing this orbit very slightly because I want to come in prograde. I don't want to be orbiting retrograde because that's not going to help matters much. So diving headlong into the system like this means I'm going to be coming in very fast to lathe. And the only way of stopping myself it will be to aerobrake. There are many wonders that can be done with aerobraking and if you get it right you can pretty much pull off an orbit without having to use any fuel at all and this is what I'm going to attempt here. I've got here with lots and lots of fuel actually but um, I might as well spare it because the spirit of Kerbin is going to be here for some time. Those that have been with this channel for a while will know this is not the first time Spirit Wolf have set foot on lathe so Learning from the um, Elysium's trip here, I'm going to go for 18, 18 kilometers. We're coming in a bit faster, but we're a bit more draggy, so we're in the hands of the gods now. I've left a little margin for error because we can always turn around and break if we have to. Um, please hold together, Spirit of Kerbin. Please hold together. It's been years in space now, this ship, and it could all end in few fiery moments. But if we can hold this together through this error breaking phase, we have this. We are at lathe. If we don't, then we die. <laughs> That's just how it works. So this is what it looks like when a capital ship hits Atmo at 7 kilometers a second. Many of you wanted to see what it looked like deorbiting. Well, this is what it looks like deorbiting at considerable speed. So it's burning quite a vigorously there. Um, Please hold together, Spirit of Kerbin, although she seems to be performing very well so far. The fire as of yet doesn't do any heat damage, but hitting drag forces at that speed, I was quite worried it would rip bits off. Um, but we're getting away with it so far. If that trajectory flattens too much and we spend too long in Atmo, we will never leave it. It will be our grave. And it is coming in quite rapidly. I wanted to give myself a little bit of leeway, but I'm glad I did because if I didn't I may not have made that but that's it we're okay we're okay and not a breath of fuel used and here we are she has quite a bit of fuel left in her but um, we need to make a few corrections here we need to get her on the um, ecliptic to make future operations much easier Um all rendezvousing and so on is far easier to do if you're just on an equatorial straight flat ecliptic orbit and I think this is a good combat altitude. You don't want to be too low otherwise it can be hard um, rendezvousing again. So I think this is going to be the benchmark for our fleet. We'll rendezvous at this altitude and this inclination. So here it is. The spirit of Kerbin is at lathe. Glorious to behold. Finally here. And no sign of Hanland as of yet. So everything is going extraordinarily well. Okay now it's time to get the colony ship into orbit. I want to make orbit first so I can properly survey a good um, landing location. I'll probably land in the next episode I think. Um, I want to get a very good position and choose wisely because I don't want to just land anywhere through convenience. So here we are coming into the system. I think 18 kilometers 
was a good height so I'm, I've set this up exactly the same way for 18 kilometer aero braking maneuver I'm going to show you this completely uncut because the spirit of curbing um, was so laggy I had to edit it up a bit so this is a high speed aero braking maneuver in real time um, sit back and enjoy So there we are, the colony ship has arrived in orbit and yet again I'm just going to um, fix the inclination and get it into a proper orbit. So following the same principle you just saw here, um, do you think I can get the Vanguard safely into an orbit around Lathe considering it has no fuel but it does have a considerable-ish amount of um, propellant so do you think I'm going to be able to make it? Spirit Wolf will never be able to live it down if its new capital ship never reaches its destination and we will look like fools and I am a fool, you know that. Um, there is one other solution but I don't want to do it unless you suggest it because it's very very dangerous and I'm not looking forward to it but to get here on propellant only will be far better and do you think I can do it? So next episode we will be landing the colony ship and um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, bye for now.